Hey, hey. Spring Love Bay. Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius. This is going to be a reading for you. This is for the collective, so if it's not for you, just leave it. Um, this is just who do, who are they really? So if you're dealing with someone, you know, if you've got them in your mind's eye, this could be for you. So just who are they really for Aquarius? Just who are they really? Someone that Aquarius is dealing with. Okay. Okay, whoever this is, um, okay, it's going to be different Different messages for different people. See, on the bottom we've got the message card. Okay, so this can be rather complicated, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, for some of you, the person you're dealing with feels very trapped. They feel very trapped. Um, this person has the heart of a warrior, you know, with the warrior card here. Um, but they feel trapped. They feel like they're stuck. And, um, it, you know, that message for who, for whomever you are, um, their life has been very complicated. And, you know, it may take some time getting through to them, helping them through whatever is making them feel stuck. Uh, you may feel like that someone just doesn't want to move forward uh, quick enough. They just don't want to move forward at all. Um, and there's reasons they feel trapped. And it may be hard getting through to them. It may be hard uh, working through what is making them feel this way. And, you, you know, the need for patience is really going to be very, very strong. Um, so that's for some of you. And for others of you, I feel like this person could be someone who is really trapped. It could be someone who is incarcerated or someone who is um, in some way, you know... Um, they could be in a facility or incarcerated or such. Um, you know, I feel like if this is about someone who is incarcerated, um, they are stronger than you think with the warrior card there. And um, if you're worried about them, I feel like that, you know, though things have been very complicated inside where they're at, um, they are working through. They are, um, it feels like getting by. Yes. Okay. The person that um, is incarcerated or in somewhere. Okay. You may send them gifts or, um, you know, send them stuff. You may actually send stuff back and forth to each other. This could actually be like a pen pal type thing. Um, they really appreciate what you send, uh, whether it's cards, gifts, whatever it is. You know, however you do it. They really appreciate it. It means so much to them. Oh, yeah. Um, we get the wheel, you know, like the wheel of fortune. It makes their life so much easier, it feels like. Um, this person, they, I have to tell you, they haven't laid everything out for you, though. Uh, with the hands being on the table, there's things that um, they haven't told you. And there may be reasons that, you know, they don't want to tell you this. Um, they may have secrets that they prefer to keep them to, to themselves. Um, that's a rather complicated, if that is for you, there's a lot to this person that's not being shown. And, um, but they do appreciate what you have done for them. I feel like it may have made things much easier for them wherever they are at, whether it's incarcerated or within some facility. Now, for those that um, the person just feels stuck, okay, for those of you that this person just feels stuck and trapped when we first started, um, they got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Chalices. There is feelings. There is, they have deep feelings within them. And, you know, you may be like, well, they don't have feelings for me because they just met me or we haven't actually met yet. But they have great emotions inside. But we have the Devil card. So there may be some addictions or type, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, there may be some negative behaviors or some negative um, things about them. Um, that you're not going to, or they feel like you may not like. 
you know, and they may feel like they're kind of trapped. They don't want to be totally honest about themselves or they may be stuck in something that they just feel like they just can't get out of. Um, any more about this person? Any more about the person? Not of Wands. Um, this may be someone that, you know, they come and go from your life. Um, Knight of Wands can often be, for me, the wanderer. The person who comes in and out of someone's life. Um, and, you know, you, to them, they're trapped. They're, they're stuck. You know, they don't feel like they can go forward. They don't feel like that um, you and them could... Um, make things work because they're they feel they actually feel stuck they actually feel trapped um and you know with this hermit card here if you'll look at it in the pictures depicted of um receiving a gift basket but pushing it away pushing it away so this person may push you away i feel like that um there's a lot to this person they do have emotions but there's a lot going on within them, and patience definitely will be needed if you go further towards this person. If you expect to uh, penetrate those walls and, you know, try to take them down. Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah. You're going to need some um, real patience there. We'll put it that way. Though, it's not impossible. The Eight of Wands, you know, they've got their guard up. But if you can see the keys and they, you know, you you may not know how to take this person because one minute they may be very outcoming and, and the life of the party and happy and go lucky. And the next thing you know, it's like maybe you, you know, you try to think you're getting a little closer and then they kind of like, mm, you know, back up. Um, I feel like that they are dealing with crap. They're dealing with stuff. And if you look at this Four of Pentacles card right here, I want you to look at that. Just can't fit. You know, the door is too small. You know, just can't fit. This person feels like, um, oh, it's like they just don't fit. They just don't fit. And um, they're dealing with a lot. They're dealing with a lot from the within. <laughs> they are. There may be even some cries for help with this Three of Wands coming up on the bottom. If you look, he's trying to flag in the ship for, you know, to, to help them to um, make it to the shore with the fire. So this person um, may be really wanting help. Um, and, you know, that's what I'm getting from it. So, patience will be have to be, you know, you're going to have to have patience for whoever that is. Now, um, that does not have to be romantic. It does not, it can be friendship. Knave of Cups, Knave of Chalices. Trying to find something. Now, if you look, if you look, I can't remember. Dousing stick, the dousing, you know, trying to find the water. So this person's trying to find something. They're trying to find something. But the thing is, is it's within. And, you know, they they have to help themselves. Um, I feel like that your patience and prayers for them can help a lot. And be there for them. You know, be, be there for them going forward. Now, if you just can't handle it, then, you know, backing away may be the thing to do with that person. Um, yeah, I feel like that you've, you've gave, you've gave, and, you know, it's, it's almost a feeling like, well, I've gave and gave and gave, and it's almost as if they look at me as if I'm, um, some scary creature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's got that feeling to it. No, they, it, they're scared from within. They've got a lot going on from within. That is what is going on here. And sometimes you just have to let people um, fly free in order to um, allow them to deal with their own issues you know with that three of swords there your own heartbreak and then other times you may can help them and nurture them then you're going to have to figure that part out for yourself because that feels like it's different for different people for some of you it feel like you can help that person going forward for others maybe not so much it's got that feel for 
you know what I'm getting there. If you're on TikTok, you're going to have to run over to uh, YouTube and watch um, if there's any more on there. Okay, in just a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube. Um, what more do you need to know about this person that is um, trapped within some sort of facility? Now, when I say this, this does not have to be prison, does not have to be jail, although it could. It doesn't have to be an um, institution of sorts. It could be within a home where someone's really trapped, you know. Um, it could be uh, someone who um, could be in some sort of group and they are trapped. It's going to be different for different people. Um, but whoever this is, you have some sort of uh, way of, you know, reaching them. So, I don't know. We, we need to take some more cards on that person who is trapped within somewhere. Somehow. Ooh, five of crystals. It is reversed. Persistence and new possibilities. So, this person... Um, if they may have been persistent before about trying to um, do something to help themselves, it's a feeling like they don't see that there's any new possibilities going forward for them. Tell me more. Oh my goodness, see they're reversing. Uh, the Queen of Crystals is reversed. Comfort and prosperity. Um, they feel like they don't have, they don't have uh, wherever they're at. Seven of Acorns is is in the upright and is determination and stamina. So they have stamina and they have determination, yet they don't have persistence. So they're keeping on. They're doing what they need to do within wherever they're at. But as far as feeling like they're going to be able to um, have something going forward, that's I'm not getting that. I'm really not getting that. Any more about this person that is, um, yeah. Okay, whoever this is, um, there's someone who, at one point in time, they may have not have had very much faith. Uh, they may have not have had uh, very much, um, oh my goodness, being in tune with their self. And now, they follow their intuition more, they have m much more inspiration about them than they once did. Um, and they've got the magician here. They have a lot of willpower. Um, you know, and they try to create things for themselves as best they can. Considering whatever it is or wherever it is they're at. And it's going to be different for different people. I feel like that could be for a lot of different people. This reading. Uh, dealing with someone in a lot of different situations and scenarios. Okay, now um, I want to ask more you know, about this person over here that is, you know, basically, it's like they're dealing with stuff within themselves that's holding them kind of hostage, you know, so to speak. Tell me more about the person that um, is dealing with stuff within Trump. So there is this, uh, okay, they can Trump over this. Okay, tell me more. That's uh, reversed. Protection, Ten of Gems. See... <sighs> they can have triumph, but at the same time, they, they feel like they're not protected. They feel like, they feel hopeless. It's a hopeless feeling. Yeah, see on the bottom, we've got power. They feel hopeless. They don't feel like they have the power, um, <sighs> the motivator, to get through this transformation. So, um, you know, they need someone to motivate them. Um, to give them power because they feel like they have no power um, to be able to let go of whatever this is because that's the death card, that's transformation that's holding them back so um, this is a feeling like um, for some now, mind you, for some the person's help is within themselves that they have to find but for others you could actually possibly help them. It's going to be different for different people, and you're going to have to follow your intuition and kind of feel into this because for some of you, they have to help themselves, and, and there's really not much that, you know, another person can do in some cases. Um, but for some of you, you could actually make a difference in their life. Now, um, 
Spirit, can I get some cards for Aquarius themselves? About them. And um, what do they need to know about themselves at this point in time for Aquarius? Okay. The Hanged Woman and the Death Card. So, at this point in time, I feel like that you need to let go of the outcome. You need to let go of the what-ifs or the um, how do I do this or, you know, the worry, basically. Um, you know, the hangman, sitting back, wondering, pondering. Um, you need to just just, just be, just let, let all this worry and this and, and musty, all this uh, uh, that you're going through within yourself go. With the death card, just let it go. Just, just let it go. Let things be as they are, because you don't want to worry yourself to death. You don't want to uh, take yourself to a um, a bad place anymore. For Aquarius, that they need to know. Empress, Ace of Pentacles. You need to give to yourself. Give to yourself. Take care of you. Give to yourself. And don't let yourself be worried. Don't do it because it'll take you down really quick and you don't want to go down that place. Yep. Uh, uh, Queen of Wands, you're very strong. Bottom, the strength card. You have lots of strength about you. Um, but you have to see when it's time. See here, we've got the Knight of Swords, seeing the truth. Two of Wands, choosing the path that it's going to be best for you, for you, and you, what you need. And then we have the High Priestess here weighing things out. Following your intuition. You know, what is best for you. Oh yeah, see? It's about you seeing the truth. You figuring things out for yourself and bringing a balance to it yourself. It's very important that you do for you along the way in this, whatever this is. Don't just put all of your energy to er into everyone else and forget about yourself. How will you be able to help anyone or be able to uh, do anything going forward if you just forget you? You know, you're very important and you need to remember that. Um, I feel like I need to take you some cards because it's clear that Whoever all of you are that you're dealing with this crap, you know, and I'm going to tell you, for some of you, you may not be dealing with this right now, but you could have dealt with it. And it's just, it's weighing on your mind. For some of you, this could be what's coming. Yeah. Okay, I want to get you an affirmation card. I feel like I need to for Aquarius. This is a pretty heavy reading. Um... I had that um, just who are they really come to me and it was like okay that that's the question that's the question I should ask you know that's it okay I've got you two we've got relationships and regret we are going to do relationships first I want you to repeat after me please okay I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And so it is. And then we have the regret card. If you would, please repeat after me. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I cannot change the past. And so it is. And that's what I've got for you, Aquarius. This is pretty intense. That's not going to be for everyone. Um, yeah, it's not. Um, so just, you know, take what belongs to you. Let the rest go. And uh, thank you so much for being here with me. And for your, um, you know, your likes, your comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know I'm, I am, uh, haven't been able to be on the channel as much as I would like. I, you know, as some of you know, I'm dealing with um, 
tinnitus really, really bad to the point of causing me to have migraines that, well, you know, what do you do when you have a migraine? You go into a dark room that's quiet, you know, without light and sound. Well, I can't get away from the sound because my head constantly buzzes. And it gets loud and it gets low and it gets loud. It gets one, you know, one ear will be one way, one ear will be another way. I've been to a, uh, the ear surgeon and uh, no, there's nothing wrong with my ears. It's in my brain. So, yeah. Um, so I haven't been on, you know, and then, you yeah, know, had some more health issues here recently. But um, hopefully I can get back. I'm just, say your prayer, prayers for me, please, about that I can get back on um, and be able to do more readings and that the headaches cease and the buzzing will cease because I was used to you know the normal ringing of the ears you know um, that I would get but this is um, different yeah not the same and um, till next time much light and love to you if you haven't subscribed please do bye